Welcome back to another coding ASMR video. Today I will be coding. I'll be making a simple gradient generator given inputs of two colors using HTML and JavaScript. So I have gotten my HTML ready and my JavaScript. I have already linked it using my script and my source and CSS. Oh. I might need it, I might not, I'm not gonna use it, or I might not, so. But yeah, let's begin. And also you can see the website, I just put hello world just to open things up. And now, let's begin. Typing noises begin. By the way, there will be chapters, they could follow along in this video if you want to move on to another section. And so let's begin. Okay, so I made a simple form that allows the input of two colors so I could choose any color any color and yeah and now I'm gonna try to add a button for the form So I got my button ready and I, I don't have a script yet that attaches the listener so I do not uh, I do not have a listener script yet. I'm just checking if the form is there and working. So I mean just there on the website. 
by the way i'm not gonna add any css just of now i just want to get every all of the raw raw blue bra the raw skeleton of the website so yeah and i am going to put this in section two sections one is the form and one is one will be hold, holding the gradient so Yeah, I do not know what tag should I put my image on. Probably I should do, I should do, I should just do like a, put it on the second, I guess, but I'm not sure if that's the main best practice in terms of the HTML. And so, yeah, I'm going to try, maybe put, put the, Put the test it test it on this section element here. It's not gonna contain anything as of now. And I'll just put an ID equals gradients here. So I'm actually gonna use CSS because I just realized for my script I'll have to use CSS for this. So let's begin my CSS. Just I'm just going to test something out so I'm gonna add some styling to the gradient just add a, a solid color for now let's make it blue because blue is my favorite color and I'm gonna refresh it no it should be it is not. Yeah, I didn't link it. Ouch. I forgot to link things out. Link rel equals style sheet. Type equals text slash CSS and href. Href will be styles style. And that's it. I didn't get a color yet so maybe I should put it in like a bar graph or something so or a header or something I might change it later This seems not to not be going well so far. Yeah, it's here. I should, I should have put something here, so. And I'm gonna remove the hello world book because I don't need it anymore. So that's just for testing. To open things up and I got my test ready, so. This shouldn't be in a paragraph. I should have put it div or something. So let's just put it as a div. And yeah, so my, so my gradient, I'm going to set a width and a length of 400 pixels or height, yeah, height and border. I'm just going to add a border, black, simple black, solid, two pic, five pixels. I'm just going to make it a big. And yeah, this is one picture, so. So now what I'm gonna do is add a placeholder gradient. So it's gonna be background image. And I did a great, I'm gonna do a gradient. I just learned this recently, so I've used it for an assignment. So I'm kinda, kinda applying it, except for this, except for this script, I'm going to 
except for this project, I'm going to make it make a form that sets these two stops for that. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use hexadecimal. Because the inputs will use hexadecimal to set these. I'm gonna do a simple red to blue gradient. It's pretty simple. From red to to blue. And I did a top bottom. Let's see if I can if I remember there's like a first parameter where you could set uh, the direction like maybe to bottom I guess I'm not sure if that if there is or something I forgot what the per what the direction is but I'm just gonna leave it top to bottom that's the default and now what I care about is the form so let's begin this script I'm going to do a setup at event listener to set up the web page dump content loaded this is where this is an event where the dom is located except for the style sheets so everything in, a, in the html is loaded besides style sheets i guess and setup i'm gonna code setup function setup so once this event where the website's loaded is fired i'm gonna call setup and what i'll do is add an event listener to the button queer selector using this to get the button to get the button here so I'll just put an ID here for the hash this gets the button, this one, and attach an event listener. All right, no, it's not the button, it's the form. I'm gonna use submit. So it should be color form, I don't need this trash. So I'm gonna use the form. listener and it's going to be on submit and make gradients which is going to be a function I'll have to make so yeah function make gra set gradient it should be set gradient I'm going to just use this rename symbol and set gradient instead so yeah the e is the event so the e is like the event were event parameter i'm gonna prevent the default so that i don't this stuff form should not submit to the server i guess so <laughs> Got it. And I'm gonna test it out in a second. I'll just log something. I'm not gonna do something with a gradient. Pressed. And now I'm gonna test the byte button. So I'm gonna use F12 to do it. F12 is like, it's inspect element. 
I've heard people like to use it to make jokes or create fake, create fake, uh, change their numbers or change whatever to troll people with inspect element. It's a handy tool, but I'm just gonna use it for, 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 uh, for testing my buttons. So yeah, so I pressed it and it's fired something. So I just test it to see if the, my button, my button vent submit is clicked, is working. So I am now ready to get everything necessary to change my gradients. So yeah, I'm going to now, I'm going to now create my, get my form elements. So now I'm, I'm going to have to access these values. So well, what, what I'll do is do start color, do a start color, I'm going to do a constant variable, color one equals document query selector, going to be an ID start color. And I'm going to do the same thing for the color end. These are the handles of the color inputs. Don't need this. And color. Now I'm going to test the values. I'm just going to try to get their color values working. So yeah, I'm going to test it out. One log something column one this is the element the HTML element and value which is the color value that holds so I'm gonna try and test things out whoops I didn't change my name nice okay so I got my color this first log logs the input element in the HTML and the second one logs the value attribute which is the color so now I've tested something now I'm going to try to set the style of I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to set the style for this so what I'll do is what I'll do is Set the style so now I'm gonna get the get another variable to get a handle of the div of this gradient so I am not too sure whether I should use div as my HTML element because I have I have no clue I kind of don't know the best practice as I'm now to where I, I would put like a, a place where like I would hold just like a still color or gradient. But yeah. But let me got let me know in the comments what which element HTML element should I use to just store some fixed color or gradient. Like not an image, not a paragraph or something. Just a simple gradient that has one color and another color like a frame so I'm gonna get the gradients and I'm going to set these out so so now set the gradients The gradient is actually kind of an image, so. I'm gonna just for now set it to the start color input and the end color input, so. So I'm going to gradient div that style. I guess I'm gonna try to log that in. 
Not that. I'm gonna log that. So uh, I have a lot of styles to choose from. So these are so many styles. So many styles I could choose. So now, I'm gonna now try to set the styles. So background color. Background image. This is the one I'm trying to set. So I'm gonna log that now for sure for just to be sure I got it I don't know why I'm not getting anything I'm trying to get the style and the background image I want to get this set uh, get the value of this so I could actually set it so something there's a lot of these background clip background image try to put image yeah it's this one this is the one I'm trying to set background image Yeah, it was, it's not really equal anything yet. So I'm going to now set something, which is a gradient. So I am going to use the CSS. This is a linear gradient. Let's try to do this. If it works or something. Maybe I have to put in a string. So for now, I'm going to test it. I'm not going to use the inputs. I'm just going to use a different, set it to a different gradient. Like green to yellow. Okay, so it's kind of working. So hmm. now the magic begins where I got this ready. I got this string working. It sets me to a different gradient. Now I'm going to try to set it to the real values of the inputs. Like so, if red and blue, I should have I should do red and blue. So actually set it to the these two inputs, input colors that are set by a user. So I'm going to use a string template to just try to insert these. It's the first value. This should be working. Let's try it out. Let's try white to black gradient. And it's working. Nice. How about a red, a yellow, and a white? Nice. Okay. So this is just two colors. For now, I'll leave it as two colors. But if I would do, I should do like a, another form that, that takes an input another color, which I could do a three color gradient. 
So this is it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to try to style my CSS better because the CSS is not pretty at all. I'm going to just try to try to try to make it tweak some add some more art I would say quote unquote for this little app this app is just a gradient so okay so this is just a two this is just a this is just a two color gradient nothing too special so I'm just gonna create this little header my gradient so that's it for YouTube ASMR YouTube be sure to like and yeah not the best heading so I am going to add the style set a background color to let's say I would say Alamo I'm going to say gray. Let's say it's a simple gray. Let's set the body. Let's not do light theme because who likes light theme? Let's do background color. Let's do black and do set all the text to white. Yeah, this is better. So, this is like a nighter theme because I'm sure you guys watching are in bed and I don't want to give you lights a white screen. So, I should have done this earlier for the ASMR and for sleepiness for sleep because if I would do it with a white screen, it's going to hurt your eyes and therefore ruin the experience. So, and I should set the the background color to be something grayish, dark blue or something. No, I should do this. it's too light let's add some padding top padding of 1m top and bottom and set the text text align center for that hmm. so yeah this is some simple styling that I've done would be nice that I add a header, a, leg a legend, enter your colors. And the form should have another style. Pixel simple, simple two pixel gray, added gray, and dotted 
or dash. Dash is better. And yeah, it is cool. Set the margin. 10 pixels all around, or let's do a relative, 0.5M, all around. Add some padding would be nice. Same thing, all around. And yeah, this is one kind of an upgraded, simplistic, minimalistic website. So, And also add some padding to all of the inputs, all of the children, or no, I don't think it's necessary. Margin. Quarter M. Wrapping the field set. This actually should be in a field set. Okay, so I guess I created this little form that sets two radiant colors. Let's try to practice a little. Let's try to play around with this. If I would do a red to cyan and look what the gradient will be. Wow, okay. I got a green and a or a yellow, and I got a green and yellow gradient. Let's try a white to turquoise-ish. Gives me that. And two more gradients. If I do a simple slow gradient. I get this blue to violent and my favorite one orange to dark blue I get this all right so this is very simple very simplistic for an ASMR video I hope you got in your tingles I hope you like it if so watch my other videos like this one I'll be making more of these videos I've got Although I have school, which I am studying comp sci, I'll try to make some more videos like this, so stay tuned. Anyways, have a good night and sleep tight. Peace out.